So I bought this uh, $50 um, smart electric ball valve from China. Put my hand here so you can see about the size of this thing. Uh, we had a um, major catastrophe. One of Kathy's nephews um, had a major water leak in their condo and it did tens of thousands of dollars worth of damage anyway so it motivated me to look for a solution to that problem I found this thing in China for 50 bucks it's basically, it's basically a kit it's got an electric uh, smart valve a Zigbee hub and these uh, sensors which detect leaks communicate with the hub which communicates with Wi-Fi and then Zigbee to the valve to turn the valve off automatically you hook this up to your uh, main water main water line and it shuts off the water automatically it also has a button on the front so you can control this valve by just clicking it we'll open the valve now it's closed here we'll watch it open it's opening it opens slowly to avoid water hammer which is nice runs on uh, 5 volts the um, the power is the power cable is kind of nice because it just ends in a normal USB connection so um, nothing fancy to connect it you just have it go into a USB power connector here in the wall which is kind of nice um, so here we go so this USB connection or the hub is connected to my um, my Wi-Fi system um, here in the house and like I say it's using Zigbee I have a little moist spot here on this paper towel so I'll put this down here and that's triggering that sensor and now the valve will close automatically and again the motion is slow will take that off the wet spot so it doesn't beat so it instantly detected the moisture shuts the valve automatically by um, you know wireless communication and within about I don't know six to ten seconds five to ten seconds closes the valve down so your water is turned off in the house I'll put that on the main on the main line it's a stainless steel um, valve here is you know rated for potable water which is nice um, you know to reopen it I can I can control it via an app as well remotely um, so if we're away from home and we wanted to shut the water off we also get um, a text message that says that the sensor has detected a leak so we're instantly notified click that button again the valve starts to open and since it's just five volts of power to open this thing um, if there happened to be a power outage in the house I'll just keep a battery um, I'll set up some uh, little device that has a USB connection on it with five with five volts from a battery so that if we do have a power outage in the house I can open this thing back up it doesn't have a manual override that's the one bad thing that this particular valve has I've seen some other ones that have um, the same features but um, um, they don't have the the Zigbee but they do have a manual override which is kind of nice this one does not have the manual override but um, with a small external power supply or a battery um, you can easily open this valve up it doesn't require much energy to open the valve and then it doesn't require any energy to keep it open just needs the voltage to uh, to be there in order to uh, keep it from reclosing it's got a uh, internal capacitor uh, which stores energy so that when the power goes out like if I was to unplug this thing which we'll do that and see what happens but unplug it so if the power goes out in the house it automatically closes so it's kind of fail safe that way it's got a uh, energy stored up in the capacitor on board which closes down the valve so it's kind of in a, it's kind of a design for fail safe which is kind of nice So that means in a power outage you've lost the water in your house but you gotta have a battery standby so you can open the thing back up 
that's the one feature I wish it had, which would be a, um, a manual override. This one doesn't have it. Anyway, that's it in a nutshell. I, I can't show you the, um, the app on the phone. Uh, it's pretty cool in that uh, you can control all these features, get notified and all that other stuff right from the phone. Control the, um, control the valve's position. You could even um, set it to different um, percentages of opening and so forth. More features than you actually need. And then uh, share that, that functionality. Kathy's got the app on her phone as well. She can control it. That's it. Oh, and then um, I'm going to get multiple of these sensors, put them under all the sinks and so forth, in the kitchen and so forth. So if any room detects water, it'll just shut the valve down immediately. That's it.